Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, magbibigay pa tayo ng isang way kung paano mag-solve ng systems of linear equation and that is using determinants. Part 1 pa lang ito kung saan meron lang tayong dalawang variables or dalawang linear equations na nandun sa system. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. So, given the two linear equations in standard form, meron tayong ganyan. Uh, kung mapapansin natin, meron tayong a sub 1 at b sub 1, c sub 1. Ibig sabihin nun, sila yung mga coefficient at constant for equation 1. a sub 2, b sub 2, and c sub 2, sila naman yung para sa equation 2. Out of these, a sub 1, b sub 1, c sub 1, a sub 2, b sub 2, c sub 2, gagawa tayo ng matrix. So, ano yung itsura ng matrix? Isa lang siyang square bracket, tapos nasa loob, yung mga coefficient and constant. Yung sa unang row, yun yung mga galing sa equation 1. Sa second row, yun yung mga nasa equation 2. Itong nasa first column, ito yung mga coefficient ng x. Itong second column, coefficient ng y. Tapos, itong last column, ito yung mga constant. So, anong gagawin natin dito sa matrix na to? Ah, by the way, before we continue nga pala, pag matrix, wala pong fraction ha. Hindi po ito fraction. Hindi nilalagay ng fraction bar between the entries inside the matrix. Anong gagawin sa mga matrix na to? We will break it down depending upon kung ano ba yung sinosolve natin, x ba or y. So una, kailangan natin makuha yung B para lang siyang subset ng matrix, parang ganun kung saan involve lang tayo sa a sub 1, b sub 1 as the first row, and then a sub 2, b sub 2 yung second row. Pagdating natin dito sa b sub x, yung part or yung column para sa x, papalta natin ng c or yung column na para sa constant. Kapag naman y, Pareretain yung column para sa x, ang mapapalta naman ay yung column para sa y, papalta niyo ng constants. Paano makukuha ang mga x dito at y? x is solved by dividing b sub x and b. At ang y naman kapag dinivide natin ang b sub y and b. To better understand, let's have this example. Itong 2x minus y equals 5, let this be equation 1. Tapos, x minus 2y equals 1, let that be equation 2. Then, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, kailangan naka-standard form siya. Ibig sabihin, yung lahat ng variable nandito sa left side, unang-unang isusulat yung x, tapos yung y, tapos yung nasa right side, yung constant lang. Pag hindi pa naka-standard form, kailangan mo pang standard form. Gagamitan natin ang matrix. Again, itong 2 at 1, ito yun, 2 at 1. Negative 1, yung coefficient ng y dito sa equation 1. Tapos negative 2, kaya negative 1, negative 2. Tapos yung constant natin, 5 at 1, 5 at 1. Recall natin yung ating b, kung saan ang ginagamit lang natin doon ay yung first at yung second column. So, paano natin ito gagawin? Ang rule dito sa determinants, multiply mo diagonally yung mga entries. Pababa muna, ibig sabihin positive 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Minultiply ko itong dalawang naka-red na arrow, naka-connect sa red na arrow. Pababa yan, minus, laging minus, pataas. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Or this is negative 4 plus 1. Or simply, ang B natin ay negative 3. Next, we solve for D sub X. Kung saan ang kukuhanin natin ay yung C, ito yung 5, 1. Saka yung B, negative 1, negative 2. Same rule din, pababa muna. Ang pababa natin is 5 times negative 2. That will result to negative 10. Minus pataas. Minus Multiply natin to 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 10 minus negative 1 using the loss of integers, this will result to negative 9. That is our d sub x. Next, we have d sub y. Dito, yung 
column naman ng B yung napalta ng C. Meron tayong 2, 1, saka 5, 1. Same rule, pababa. This is 2 times 1, 2. Minus, pataas, which is 5. So minus 5, using the rule for integers, subtraction of integers, this is negative 3. And yan, i-divide lang natin. To get x, we will use dx over d. Ang dx natin ay negative 9, ang d natin ay negative 3. Negative 9 divided by negative 3 is positive 3. As for y, meron tayong d sub y over d. d sub y is negative 3. D natin ay negative 3. Ang sagot natin ay 1. Pagsamahin lang natin sa isang coordinates. So, yan na. Makuha na natin 3 comma 1. We have to check if our answer is correct. So, meron tayong 2x minus y equals 5. Yung x, papalta natin ng 3, yung y ay 1. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. Tama itong ating unang equation. We go sa second equation natin. Ang x ay papalta ng 3, ang y ay 1. So, 3 pa rin. Tapos, 2, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Pag minusin natin to 3 minus 2, that is still 1. So, therefore, our answer is correct. Ang point of intersection nga ng dalawang equation na to ay 3 comma 1. So, ang silbi ng determinants, tinatanggal niya muna yung mga variable. Nagpo-focus lang siya sa mga numbers na involved dun sa equation, regardless kung ito ay coefficient or constant. Ang disadvantage nito, nakakalito kapag sobrang laki na nung number o kaya naman nalilito ka pa sa subtraction ng integers. Pero if you are familiar with that, kung sanay na sanay ka na dun, eh di advantages sa'yo itong Kramer's Rule or itong determinants. Next, we go to example number 2. I suggest you do it on your own. Simulan lang natin. Pakita natin yung matrix dito. Tapos, subukan mong isolve using determinants. After 10 seconds, I will resume talking and discussing to check if your answer is correct. Again, we start with B. Ang kukunin lang natin ay yung first two columns, 1, 2, and 7, 10. Pababa ulit, multiply mo muna itong dalawang to. That will result in 10. Minus, pataas, 2 times 7, that is 14. Subtracting these two numbers, we have a D of negative 4. Next, we have D sub X. Ito naman ay pinalta ng C, yung first column, 0, 4, tsaka 7, 10. Pababa, meron tayong 0, tapos minus pataas. Minus, 4 times 7, we have 28. 0 minus 28, our D sub X is negative 28. And finally, for D sub Y, A and C ang involved na column. Yang dalawang yan, meron tayong pababa, that is 4, minus pataas, which is 0. 4 minus 0, that's D sub Y, that's 4. And then we will solve for X, i-divide mo lang D sub X over D. This is negative 28 divided by negative 4. Negative divided by negative is positive. 28 divided by 4, that is 7. As for y, we have d sub y over d. Our d is our d sub y is 4. d is negative 4. Dividing them, we have negative 1. So, yan yung ating sagot. Gagawin lang natin order here. And then, of course, we will check if this is correct. So, meron tayong x plus 7y. Ang x natin is 7. Ang y natin is 1. So, Pag pinag-times natin itong dalawang to, 7 and negative 1, this will result to negative 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. Tama sa una nating equation. 
Next, dito naman sa pangalawa nating equation, ang x ay mapapalta ng 7 pa din, ang y pa din ay 1. So, times 7, ito ay magiging 14. Tapos, ito naman 10 times 1 is, or 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. Pag pinag-minus to, the answer is 4. So, meaning our final answer is 7 comma negative 1. So, that's it on how we use determinants to solve systems of linear equation na involve ay dalawang equation lang. Iba ang solution using determinants kung tatlo na yung equation, x, y, z na rin ang variable. Pero sa ibang video na natin pag-uusapan yun. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.